Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this channel, my name is Goodness. I am a YouTuber based in Calgary, Alberta. So today I'm going to be showing you how to preserve tomatoes, peppers, and all the likes. So over here we are approaching winter, and when we get to winter period, all this stuff gets um, expensive and it's not even it's even hard to find. And when you find the eggs, super expensive so today i'm going to be showing you how i'm stocking up for the winter so as you can see in this video i already grouped my tomatoes inside the bag and my peppers i i bought a bunch of other spices too i think i have cinnamon there and other spices i think i have cinnamon and um i'm not too sure but yeah as we get along i'm going to show you how it is so i'm just trying to bring the peppers out here and i'm checking those peppers as you can see oh, on our best to group them so yeah i am sitting and that's my husband at the back we're actually discussing but i had to fast track this moment so it doesn't get super boring for you people so yeah i am just grouping the tomatoes here and the peppers inside the plugs in little little portions that i can easily grab from the freezer and defrost and then i cook with it because i really do not like all this canned stuff in my food i really do not like using canned stuff and i just like to use fresh pepper as much as i could so here i am grabbing those peppers inside uh the ziplock bag as you can see and one thing i want you to know is that these things comes out super fresh even after months they can stay for up to a year in freezer like <laughs> that is how good it is and it doesn't change taste it doesn't change color it doesn't if you don't remove it from the freezer anyways and if there is constant light it doesn't change the way it looks and the way it tastes in the mouth so for my people in nigeria i think what you can do to preserve your tomatoes and your pepper just like i am doing here is by getting is by getting a chest freezer and whenever you see that these tomatoes and these peppers are in season you can just buy in large quantities and put inside the freezer and trust me this is going to stay months and in a situation whereby you don't really have light like that i think you can do like uh, maybe constant light on your generator just to put the chest freezer just make sure you have the uh, freezer on for like uh, i mean just put the generator on for like two three four hours on the chest freezer and if you have kids make sure that they don't open the freezer if you can get a lock i think there are some freezer that have lock that you can lock so that the children will not have to be opening and closing so that the gas will not be coming out so these are other ways where you can uh, preserve your tomatoes if you are in nigeria or if you're in the UAR, as I was while I was staying in Nigeria. So another thing also is that you can also uh, preserve a whole lot of things. I preserve, um, what is it called? I preserve, um, I preserve um, plantains also. I preserve a bunch of lots of things, locust bean, I freeze them. I do a lot of things like that. And even your bell peppers, I've done quite a lot with bell peppers too. You can buy your bell peppers in Nigeria where they can be super expensive and you might even be wondering how, how does it get this expensive. You can buy in bulk whenever they are in season and you can put it inside the block and freeze it. So whenever you want to use it, just make sure that you cut through when it has not yet, it has not yet defrosted or just wait for a little bit for it to defrost and then cut through. So by that way, you are still maintaining the add texture of the bell peppers and you can use it for your fried rice. You can use it for your stir fries and all of that. So basically, I was just grouping and grouping and grouping the peppers and tomatoes and everything. So it's actually work guys it's work at this point i was tired i was trying to we had somewhere we had to go to the next morning and i was like if i don't do this by the time i'm coming out i'm going to be tired 
super tired and I will not even have time to do all these things. And we are going to be away for like two days. I'm like, by the time I'm coming back, Steph, these peppers, these tomatoes, they are going to be an high so and I don't want that because, man, even as it is right now, it's a whole lot and it costs money too. So I don't want to waste that just because I'm tired. But I still have a little bit of... um. I still have a little bit of energy here and there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, this is just a way of keeping and making sure that all of these things are well stored. So in those pictures there, I also have um, those green peppers that I showed at the time. Those were green peppers that I freeze also and I use for ayamashi. I think they are sweet sabanero or something. I don't know the name, but in Nigeria, in my own native language, we call it um, bawa and tatashe. So basically, I only bought and use that. Look at me using mouth to remove and uh, to dismantle the nylon because <laughs> it was just too much. So I was just grouping and grouping and grouping, guys. This was a whole lot of work. I had to fast forward because I don't want you guys to see all the boring stuff and how boring it gets. Well, basically, it took me like almost an hour sorting and trying to get all this stuff out so those pe these peppers can actually be grouped you can group them so that in a way to not uh, waste time on your or just to and uh, dismantle gas or anything like that or not to waste the gas in the freezer by the time you open it you can just make sure that you group them in a way like in a Ziploc bag, just grab tomatoes, just grab some scotch bonnets, some bell peppers, some habanero peppers, some chili peppers, just the way you like it, so that it will not give you um, issues while sorting it out. So that was basically what I was doing, and I was trying to just group and group and group and group. And you know that these things can be tricky, guys, so I want you to do it as carefully done as possible and in this place in this that big bag that contains a lot of tomatoes they were hard ones so when we went to the place where we got this stuff where we got these tomatoes and peppers there was a box that was full of the hard ones and there were ones that were semi-hard <laughs> they were not hard they were not soft either so i had to use them first i just felt like using them first anyways it's not as if it's a, <laughs> I, I was sure that i there was no any i was even sure that at the point there was no even any point for using it first or last because by the time it got inside the freezer everything frosted up and that's it so that's it for grouping it and yeah voila <laughs> after everything said and done we grouped and we grouped so i'm going to in the next clip now in just a jv you will see me how i'm loading them my husband and i were loading them inside the freezer just so you can see how to load them also and then i was checking the prices of what we bought and i'm like oh my god this is actually expensive we got a lot of things so it cost about 200 canadian dollars to get all these stuff but i feel like it's way cheaper Spending it now is going to be cheaper and cost effective than spending it later because definitely you can spend times eight of these during winter. And I'm very sure this thing is going to last us for, if not for over a year, seven. I'm very sure it's going to last the next year when summer will start or when winter will start again and I will have to stock up. So this is me and my husband. I was trying to do it and he was helping me to stock up also because it was already late and we had an early morning meeting that we have to get to and we're traveling the next day so this is it guys if you like please give it the thumbs up share share and recommend this video to a lot of people so that they can see how they can stock up also and preserve their tomatoes without having to spend a lot of money trying to get these things done so thank you for watching i love you <laughs> thank you so much for supporting this girl till next time i remain your humble girl goodness Take care. Bye.